alcohol, uh, as y'all know, and I have a, a complicated history. Yo, Kurt is gone. Kurt, where are you, man? Where are you? Do you know where you are? Yo, everybody's filming you. Yeah, very complicated. And through my life, I learned a lot of lessons with it, and I'm still learning, really. But there was one lesson that always stuck with me to this day. And it has to do with, well, two liquids. Alcohol and pee. I swear this YouTube thing is gonna be the death of me. Like, oh, God. <laughs> All right, so boom, flashback to my senior year of high school. And much like now, uh, I was depressed. And not for your typical adolescent reasons though. See, at the time I was having a falling out with this girl that I really liked. And I recently quit the football team for reasons that are a whole other video. It, it was a lot. So my friend Damien saw how messed up I was and decided to be like, yo, you need really need to let loose. And he asked me to go to this night party he got invited to. You may be thinking, yo, how are y'all drinking and spending the night over someone's house in high school? Like this isn't some anime. Well, much like in anime, the people who were hosting's parents weren't there. So naturally this was the time to throw a rager. Now I was kind of excited for the party, but definitely not for the best reasons. Okay? I was excited for the alcohol. See, I drank a couple times before during my high school career, and they were pretty fun. Like, this was actually pretty lit. It was great, and it had a nice numbing feeling. And I never paired that feeling with depression. Like, if this stuff doesn't make me feel anything and be happy, that sounds like exactly what the doctor ordered right now. So during the party, a friend of mine, we'll call him Logan, hits me up like, hey man, what's good? And brings this thing called moonshine. See, if you didn't know, moonshine is like the atom bomb of alcohol. The probably worst kind, because it's homemade and could be just about any percentage, which again was perfect because I was trying to drown my sorrows. So I'm like, yo, Logan, uh, can I get a swig of that? Uh, dude, you sure? This stuff is pretty strong. Like that's exactly what I need right now, please. So I take a swig of his moonshine, probably enough for one shot. And for some reason, I think I forgot how alcohol worked. I waited 10 minutes and felt nothing. Now, for those of you at home and kids who are watching this who probably shouldn't, don't know, uh, alcohol takes a little bit longer than 10 minutes to hit. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot or something, like, oh God. So I took another swig and waited another five minutes because that's how long you're supposed to wait again and still feel nothing. I'm an idiot, I know. Are you sure that? I'm good, I'm good, I gotta, I gotta get the feeling. So I take another giant swig and still don't feel anything. This time, probably two shots worth. Now I'm sitting here disappointed, but I didn't know the storm that I was about to come. So the party's still going and then like all of a sudden, I wake up. Huh. I bet this uh, story sounds familiar. See, a while ago, I made a video, uh, a similar topic, where I said I'd never blacked out before. Yeah, okay, I forgot about this other time. It's been two times, there's two times. Instead of questioning why did I just wake up on the floor or why am I feeling a little dizzy, I thought, hmm, let me go to the bathroom, like a regular person. So I walk out of the room and head to the hallway to the bathroom. I do the usual, unzip my pants and start peeing in the toilet. And halfway through my pee, I realize that someone's in the bathroom with me. Okay, I know it sounds weird, like I don't know. He yells at me, yo, what are you, what are you doing? Then he runs out of the bathroom and yells at everyone, yo, Kurt's peeing. Now, that kind of weirded me out, even though I'm definitely not the person who should be weirded out by that interaction. But I get it, okay, I whipped out my junk in front of you and started peeing into the toilet without knowing you're there. All right, little questionable, okay. But I'm like, for a situation like that, wouldn't you yell like, yo, Kurt just whipped his junk out in front of me when he was trying well, to, like, why would you yell Kurt's peeing? It was kind of weird. Maybe I am a little drunk to not have the cognitive awareness that a whole guy is there in the bathroom with me. As I'm sitting there pondering that question, and then it really hits me. I stop, look around the room, and realize I'm not in the bathroom. <laughs> Turns out I was peeing in the records room of the house. You know, that like a house that has like a bunch of like papers in it, like a room where you keep all bunch of papers. That's what this part of the house was. And what I was peeing into was not a toilet, but actually a bucket of papers. I was peeing in a random room into a bucket of papers. What was in that moonshine, yo? Like LSD, dear God. You know, usually for most people, this is when shame kicks in. Uh, not for me. I definitely did it wrong, but I don't feel enough shame to stop. So I finished my pee into the bucket instead of like, you know, going to the bathroom like a regular person. So I wake up the next day and ah, there you are, shame. I missed you. It all hit me like a truck and I realized what I did and how weird it was that I did it. The twins uh, were really freaking out because apparently the party got out of hand on its own. I mean, some asshole like, peed in like one of the rooms. So like, I obviously, like that's what happens when you take a bunch of horny high school kids and put them next to alcohol, okay? But I had to explain to them what I did. Uh, the brother, oddly enough, super nice guy, uh, was totally chill with it. The sister, 
uh, not so much. They went to see the damage, and then one of them, and I vividly remember this, one of them said, they think the deed to the house might have been in that bucket of paper. I might have peed on the deed to the house. And while I was wallowing in my shank cleaning up my stuff, uh, I realized that the brother actually cleaned up my pee. You never felt more demoralized as an adult person until some other person cleans up your pee. I, I, really, the moral of the story, don't drink to bury your sorrows. At least if you are, drink responsibly. Because I can't promise the latter won't happen anymore, but... Man, you could at least be a little bit smarter about it. And speaking of smart decisions, you can make one right now by checking out this video's sponsor, Raycon. Now, I'm sure you hear about Raycon a lot, and th this is not gonna be any different. I actually really, really messed with Raycon, okay? Not gonna lie, I was very skeptical at first before I actually got the earbuds, and now they're like, I use them like a lot in my life. They're like my first Bluetooth headphones. So I was actually really messing with it. And yo, they sound pretty damn solid. Not gonna lie. Because I've been using them like a lot, especially for work, which is this, which is this what I'm doing right now. I do these things in my Discord server where I stream myself editing and I also talk to fans while I do it. Y'all yeah, can see my whole process. Subtle plug, but, and I've been wearing my Raycons the whole time and yo, it's been dope. And it's so wild because they're Bluetooth. Like my voice is here, but the ears are here. Like, how does that work? I don't, I don't know, but it's wild. It's great. And their everyday E25 earbuds are their best model earbuds. Yet. With six hours of play time, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. It also comes in new fun colors. Obviously, I had to do the Kurt Ritchie blue, like, come on. So if you want to support the channel and you also, like, get some dope stuff, uh, click the link in the description, buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie for 15% off your order. So again, if you want to help out the channel, just click the link in the description, get yourself 15% off your next order. Ooh, what's up, y'all? Yo, it's your boy Kurt, and I'm back with a very close upload. Oh my gosh, this one came out quick. Oh yeah, make sure to check out the last video I did about me working and using people, a co-worker specifically. The fun times. Um, This video is important, not necessarily because of the video itself. Videos after this are gonna be, hopefully, if I can stick to it, which I'm trying, but again, I don't like to put pressure on myself like that, but I'm gonna push for it. I'm gonna try and, um, like get a little bit deeper with it a little bit. Like you're seeing a lot more Vivi, a lot more different stuff. I just want to get this one out real quick and then so we can boot up ready. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. And next time you see me, I will be a graduated man. Oof, boy, yeah, life is scary. But all right, y'all, stay safe. See you soon.